thank you for today, Jesus. I thank you that you are life. Your ways are life. We love you. Uh, Lord, you've given words today uh, of a coming persecution, a coming refining, a coming mm -hmm. pressing, a coming preparation for the days ahead. Whether it be in good times externally or in difficult times externally, either way, you want us to prepare mm -hmm. for your coming. Yes. Give May, may the words that were spoken by uh, Leanne as well as by me, may be your words, not ours, and pierce the hearts and minds of everyone who hears in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Um, Amen. Guys, I have just a handful of scriptures. Uh, I say this with fear and trembling. I, I love, I think it was James Renwick. One of the, I think he was the last of the martyrs of Fair Sunshine, the Covenanters, Scottish Covenanters, which was the first Presbyterian church. Uh, it was either him or, or Donald Cargill who said, I fear more the pulpit than the gallows. I fear more the pulpit. Because woe be to us that we speak the words of God lightly. Fear him who can throw your body and soul yes. in hell. Yeah. Um, James 1. Th these these are... Uh, you're going to want to write these guys down. Um, because um, these were things... I, I've. Uh, these are things the Lord has given. Um, try to be faithful to give what he gives. Let us all give... Our children meet in due season. That's the word of God, folks. You know, when God says, when Jesus says, my yoke is easy, my burden is light. You don't have to conjure up or come up with anything different in delivering the word of God to your family. Like, I have my devotions. Okay, now I need to find something to give to the kids. No! What you got in that closet is for your family. You are an open book. You are an epistle. You are to be poured out. Why? Because you are imitating the very nature of God. Because he poured out himself in the form of Jesus Christ. Who Jesus Christ poured out himself. And we see it on the cross. So that you would see he was God in flesh. Because we are so dense. We needed a physical, tangible, substantive picture they say uh, even today's educators say the best way to learn is you start with what Lire being the teacher you start by uh, the best way a child learns uh, is through example example, example imitation mm -hmm. yes oh, okay. imitation example it, yeah right answers we need the example of the cross so that we would do it for ourselves, so we would do it for others, so we would do it for our children and the world. It's like the Russian nesting dolls, concentric circles from the inside out. I love this song, from the inside out. The, the, uh, may I worship you from the inside out. Guys, you don't have to figure anything out. You worship from the inside out. You give to your kids from the inside out. You give to your family from the inside out. And it starts in that closet. It starts on your face being broken. You want to know where it starts? Jesus, you're the Christ, you're the Lord. And what did he do? He set the example by pouring out. This is love. This is how we know what love is. Jesus Christ laid down his life for us. That's the bedrock of our faith. That is the example by which we live by. And if you're having to try to come up with something else for somebody else, you're going to get frustrated, folks. Yeah. Stop trying. Yeah, yeah. Stop. You got it there. Be broken. Mm -hmm. Be broken. It's okay, because once that happens, it, it, you would be amazed. It's an ever giving. It is more blessed to give than receive. That was free. James 1, verse 2. Consider it joy, my brothers. This, this goes with what Leanne said. Whenever you experience various trials, verse 3, knowing that the testing of your faith produces endurance. But endurance must do its complete work so that you may be mature, complete, lacking in nothing. Guys, be poured out. Go, go ahead and die. I'm not saying die like, eh, you know. 
No, it it is an emotional, uh, a spiritual. Uh, it, it's an internal death. We have we have folks that have lost family members. Okay, uh, we have folks that have you know we 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 have lost people that have cut us off. That's an emotional death mm-hmm. for the sake of Christ because uh, the people involved. They said, look, this is what the truth is. You've got to forgive. I don't care what you feel. It's what the Bible says. I don't like it. And cut off. Or, I I don't know if I can let that person go. They died and I remember those times. And you you are hindered from that deep relationship with God because Jesus walked that road of sorrow. Ought we not do the same? Is that not a testing of your faith? To build up endurance for what? That great day. Mm -hmm. If you're not ready to meet God at the judgment day, then what makes you think you'll be ready right right now? Or rather, excuse me, backwards. If you're not ready now, you will not be ready then. Get ready now. When Jesus says, die daily. Mm -hmm. Do it now. 1 Peter 4. Verse 12, it's one of my favorite verses. I came across it again. The Lord reminded it to, uh, with me. Uh, some of the, I think it was Victor Raymond Edmond, former president of Wheaton College while Billy Graham was going to school. Uh, he gave a sermon and died when he gave the sermon. Uh it was amazing because the sermon was on the glory and the majesty of God. And went home right there. Dear friends, uh, chapter 4, verse 12. Don't be surprised when the fiery ordeal. Guys, it's going to feel like you're yeah. burning. Yeah. Guys, I'm telling you now, there is coming a persecution. Yeah. I've been reading Fair Sunshine. I'm... There's a concern over this nation. You need to be ready. I'm not talking about political. I'm not talking about... No, I'm talking about your heart. If your heart is not ready to endure challenges, you will not be ready. If you cannot run with runners, you will not run with horses. If you cannot walk with walkers, you will not run with horses. That's Jeremiah. Yes, yeah. Isaiah says, if you are not firm in your faith, you will not be firm at all. You will not be able to endure flood. You will not be able to endure fire. Guys, if you lose property, are you ready for it? Yeah. If people take your stuff, are you ready for it? The big one, I love Oswald Chambers, he says, are you willing to give up your rights? Mm-hmm. If somebody wrongs you mm-hmm. and you wanted to take a person to court, anomaly, okay? It's clear we're not supposed to take believers to court. Mm-hmm. But a non-believer and say, look, I have rights. And you have, God forbid, a crooked judge said out the window. Are you willing to give that up? It hurts. It does hurt. It hurts. And Jesus says, through Peter, dear friends, don't be surprised when the fiery ordeal comes among you to test as if something unusual were happening to you. Instead, rejoice as you share in the sufferings of the Messiah. If anyone was to be wrong, he was treated, he, let's look at it from an earthly perspective. He was a, he was a, a carpenter, just a, some, somebody trying to take care of his mom and his brothers, brothers and sisters, trying to do the right thing and, and to give what God has given him in service. And he was an enemy of the state. They treated him as an enemy of the state. You treasonous rebel. We're going to execute you. He lost his clothes. He lost his dignity. He lost every right. He, of all people, should have said, I mean, even from an earthly perspective, let's say you didn't even consider the divine aspect of him. Let's take it from an earthly perspective. For anybody who wants to say, oh, he was a good man. He was a good teacher. That's another story. Why would all of a nation have any business, any care 
of a carpenter from a backwater town. What's the big deal? Why are you bringing them as treason? Why? Unless he's got some something of note. At the very least, it's injustice. And the words he said, forgive them, they don't know what they do. When a person wrongs you, folks, do you say, for, oh God, forgive them, they don't know what they're doing. It is painful, it's wrong, I, I'm not negating that. I forget sometimes. Are you choosing? <laughs> That's what taking up your cross, dying daily, what Leandra said. Are you choosing to say, Lord, this is what binding on earth and loosening on earth. Are you going to release that debt of forg of, of, of uh, sin? Or are you going to hold on to that? Because uh, uh, that, that sin is a debt between you and God. Are you going to release that? Instead, rejoice as you share in the sufferings of the Messiah, so that you may also rejoice with great joy at the revelation of his glory. That's the gospel. 1 Peter 5, 9. Resist the devil and be firm in the faith. Listen, guys. Knowing that the same sufferings are being experienced by your fellow believers throughout the world. Guys, um, this is... Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that he may exalt you at the proper time. 1 Peter 1.3 says, Guys, they're, they're, uh, he's saying, and this is, this is one of those, hold on to it. Praise the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to his great mercy. He has given us a new birth. One, if you if you say, Jesus, come into my heart, come into my life, baptize me in your Holy Spirit, I, 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 I repent right now. I'm sorry for all I've done. Make me new. I'm turning my life over to you. I give you my life as a blank check. Boom! New creation. Sorry, Kathy. You're a new creation. Let that be a punctuation mark. You're a new creature. Stop trying to be like that old... Rotted corpse. <laughs> because of that new birth, you have a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. An inheritance imperishable, uncorrupted, unfading, kept in heaven for you. You're being protected by God's power through faith Amen. for salvation that is ready to be revealed in the last time. Now, so what do we do with this? Guys, I, I'm deeply concerned. Uh, I think I've said this. Um... We are seeing the climate. People have given God honoring people, people who love Jesus. Your hope should be in that living hope that will not fade, that is eternal. Mm -hmm. Guys, I, I had to confess myself. I grew up with insecurity because I moved all over the place. And the Lord was stripping me. And I had to weep and say, oh God, I've trusted this system. I've trusted my, surra my surroundings. I've trusted... In the fact that I can go to the store, buy food, and, and come home with it. No! That may end in a moment! Yeah. In a moment! All that may change! David Wilkerson gives a message. In one hour, everything yeah. will change. Everything will change. You need to be ready for it. Mm -hmm. Dying daily. You need to be ready for it. If you're not ready for it, your faith's going to be tested. Yeah. Now, Paul, on his way, go to Acts chapter 20. As Paul is going on his way to Jerusalem, he knows he's going to Jerusalem. He knows he is going to endure persecution, severe persecution. Is this your heart cry? Let's, let's take a look. Uh, Acts 20, verse 22. Sorry, I moved fast. Acts chapter 20, verse 22. And now, I am on my way to Jerusalem, bound in my spirit, not knowing what I will encounter there. Oh, oh God. Except that in town after town, the Holy Spirit testified me that chains and afflictions are waiting for me. 
Guys, I count my life of no value to myself so that I may finish my course at the ministry I received from the Lord Jesus to testify to the gospel of God's grace. That has got to be your homeward bound call. There may be a complete falling away where you start seeing Christians falling left and right saying, they lied to me. These prophets lied to me. They said so-and-so will get in. They, they said this. They said that. I'm not predicting one way or the other. I don't know. I don't care. But they told me about these things. And none of it came to pass. Or they weren't right. Or what? whatever. You do not put your trust in men. You do not put your trust in horses. Nor princes. Nor the son of man. Or uh, the, the, uh, humankind. You put your trust in God alone. In Jesus Christ. His word is eternal. Now, to those who have trusted, to those who have held on and say, I don't care. I know troubles await me. I know instability awaits me. I know my family's going away. People don't believe me. But I must carry the gospel of God's grace that he saved sinners. He died for me. He rose for me. And the same is afforded to anybody who asks for it. Now finish with this. Go to Psalm 145. We sang this in worship. This is the promise. This is the promise to all who say, Lord, though none shall follow, though none go with me, still I will follow. No turning back. No turning back. I exalt you, my God, the King. He's the King. And praise your name forever and ever. Listen, the Constitution may totally change. God's Constitution never changes. I will praise you every day. I will honor your name. Forever and ever. Yahweh is great and is greatly pra highly praised. His greatness is unsearchable. One generation will declare your works to the next and will proclaim your mighty acts. Folks, that's us. Our generation will declare to the next, which will declare to the next and so on. Until God rolls everything up in a scroll. I will speak of your splendor and glorious majesty and your wonderful works. They will proclaim the power of your awe-inspiring acts. And I'll declare your greatness. They will give a testimony of your great goodness. And they, they, these acts, everything he's done. Like even, even, you know, tomorrow you, you get up, go on, on your day. What has God done for you? He shows up in, if you cannot see him in the little ways, you're not going to be able to talk to him in the big ways. Because he is a very near, personal, relational God. He's right there. Right there. I'll never forget. We were... I was like, oh God, where are my keys? And we were in Ohio holding on to the promise that we were going to go to Israel. Uh, or no, it wasn't keys, it was light bulbs. And, I, and I'm like, oh God, where are the light bulbs? And I was like, oh yeah, they're right there on top of the kitchen. And I said, thank you, Lord. And he hit me right between the eyes. He said, son, if I can show you where your light bulbs are, don't you think I could take you to Israel? I had to repent my lack of faith. They will proclaim the power of your awe-inspiring acts, and I will declare your greatness. They will give a testimony of your great goodness and will joyfully sing of your righteousness. The Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and great and faithful love. The Lord is good to everyone. His compassion rests on all he has made. All you have made will thank you, Lord. The godly will praise you. They will speak of the glory of your kingdom and will declare your might, informing all people of your mighty acts. And of the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom. Not the United States. Amen. Not Europe. Yeah. Not Russia. Not China. Oh. No. Mm -hmm. God's kingdom. Yes. is an everlasting kingdom. Hallelujah. Your rule. Not the constitution. Yeah. Not state statutes. Right. God's rule. Yeah. Is for all generations. The Lord is faithful in all his words. And gracious in all his actions. 
the Lord. Listen, folks, this, this applies to, to, to all of us. Uh, all y'all, as we say in the South, helps all who fall. He raises up all who are oppressed or bowed down. Guys, are you weary? Are you tired? The Lord lifts you up. He's the lifter of your head. All eyes look to you, and you give them their food at the proper time. You open your hand. Oh, God. You satisfy the desire of every living thing. The Lord is righteous in all his ways, gracious in all his acts. Listen, folks, the Lord is near all who call out to him. It's important. You remember this. We're not talking about the, oh, the disciples forgot bread. No. Call out to him with integrity. Are you calling out to him from a pure heart? I don't know. That. Say, Lord, please search my heart. If you want him for a million dollars, it ain't going to work. He fulfills the desires of those who fear him. He hears the cry for help and saves him. Oh, Lord Jesus, help me. The Lord guards all those who love him. But he destroys all the wicked. And the wicked has always been defined in the scripture. Those who swear by God's name falsely. Guys, allow him to break you and mold you. Because what will happen is your mouth will declare Yahweh's praise. Let every living thing praise his holy name forever and ever. Folks, now's the time. Give all of everything you have. Seek the Lord. Lord, search me and know me. Try me and know my heart. See my ways. And see if there's any wickedness in me where I have not been true. Wickedness is defined by you making a promise to God. You're saying, I'm aligning with you, but I... Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You, where you give God an, uh, uh, an audible nod. But you're doing your own thing. Now more than ever, everybody's crying, screaming for truth. You trust this book. You get on your face every morning before the Lord. Search me, God. Let him break you. It's not comfortable, but it's good. Let it be said of you as well. That you were acquainted with God's griefs. Because he gets sad. There is joy. I will say there's joy. An endless joy. You got to know brokenness first. Seek him while he may yet be found. Whatever what the scripture says, I will fulfill my vows to you. If you made a promise to the Lord, keep it. If you've told the Lord certain things, I will do this, then do it. He is patient with us. He's kind with us. Thank you, Father, that you are everlasting to everlasting. You are God. Oh, God, our lives are 70 years. By strength, they're 80, but they're a drop in the bucket. Lord Jesus, please help us. Let us be faithful. Oh, God, forgive us where we have not stuck to our vows. Where we have not made promises, uh, where we have made promises that we didn't keep, where we've not been consistent in our walk with you. I'm sorry, oh Jesus, heal us. I'm sorry, oh God. Oh God, our, we as Christians have we've wanted you to, well, whenever there's drama, we've wanted you to bail us out, and then for us to live like the world. Lord, forgive us. May we, may we commit in sincerity and truth and stick to it till our dying day. Oh God, keep us from wavering. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil and the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah.